Hi everyone, today we're gonna be building a modern farmhouse. It's like white planks, which I usually don't like. And then we've got like paneling right here. I think right over here where these windows are is are the stairs. Like I think I can just very briefly <laughs> see some stairs going upwards. Also, I don't know why, but there's just a random circular window. I don't know if that's common in these types of houses, but it's over here. <laughs> this one might be a little tough to recreate, but we're gonna try our best. But I'd say this is about four blocks from the pavement. I think I'm gonna make it five though. Five blocks up and five blocks wide. I wouldn't say that this is made of concrete actually. I think if we use cozy fabric in the color smoky gray, it's gonna look exactly the same. We're gonna place the garage around here. This is gonna be five blocks wide. We got two pillars, we got a gable roof, and then we also got this little corner over here. Two blocks here for the door and two blocks here for those large windows. This garage got windows at the top. Oh, also there's like these two light fixtures here, so we're gonna have to put those. I think the traditional wide garage door is the closest replica. This is like 80% glass. <laughs> What is that? Is that a pet store? Like for a dog to go in? Wait, what? I'm just gonna use the French door. Oh, wait, it looks like it's got paneling over on the garage, but then over here it's planks. We have the full wall paneling in Waltrim, so maybe we're just gonna use this and like recolor it white. I feel like that looks similar. <gasps> wait, look, I couldn't see it at first, but these are all in different places. This one is the furthest, this one is one block forward, and this is another block forward. Like, <laughs> the only way that I noticed that was from the roof trim. It's okay, we're not losing that much money. I swear, that's gonna look so bad. I'm gonna say that this one is four blocks behind of this wall. So here is where I'm saying it's gonna be. Okay, wait, I'm gonna change it. I'm actually gonna move it. I'm just gonna place it here instead. This is not a proper gable roof. <laughs> It's got a whole fancy thing going on. I can't believe I'm actually getting Transform Plus just to do this gable roof. <laughs> but we have to, we have to do it for the build. And honestly, I feel like sooner or later, I was gonna get Transform Plus anyways. This is so much easier. This kind of looks so good as well. I'm gonna grab another one of these basic shapes and I'm gonna place it up top here because I wanna color it differently. I mean, it's looking okay. <laughs> I think we have these pillars in Bloxburg. I think this is the one, the square pillar. Ooh, there's also like a structural right in the center. I'm gonna use these standard round rod and I'm gonna get the really small one. For the lighting, should I use hurricane gray or linen? I think I'm gonna go for hurricane gray. We also have like another structural up here. Why are these so hard to replicate? Let's get that circular window. Ooh, we don't have a lot of similar windows. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna get this little round window. I'm gonna resize it a little bit because in the photo it looks way smaller. I'm gonna get that structural and we're just gonna create the design. Boom, same window. I'm gonna have to do something about that. I thought it would look good but I didn't know this would be happening. We're using the modern window. Resize it. We're gonna use structurals to create the exact same like window design. It's too wide, right? Oh yeah, oof. Don't you worry, everything will be okay. I gotta redo this roof. I really don't want to, but I gotta. I think the best thing we can do is use a mansard roof. Like there's not a lot of options. In regards to the light fixtures, I don't know if we're gonna be able to put them there. Can we? Oh, we can. I'm just gonna use the full wall paneling like for simplicity's sake. I'm gonna put it over here and I'm gonna put it also downstairs. I think we can just use this window. I'll just put two of them. I'm gonna try to figure out the dimensions of this place. So I made this three blocks wide and I resized the windows. I just think that's gonna work out so much better for us because now we can actually move these stairs like a little bit more backwards. And I think we can actually close this off. I put the grid on so you can see the layout a little bit better. Garage, stairs, <laughs> entryway, kitchen, dining area, living room and bathroom. Bedroom one, bedroom two, bathroom two. I'm gonna have to do the roofs myself because I need it to look like the photo. I'm gonna do the first one. Please work. I think that's good. Now we're doing the second one. This is gonna look very accurate. I guess I'm just gonna use the mansard roof right here. Now we gotta add like a ton of windows. I wanna use these ones a few times. I feel like that's ugly. We could also have a window over here, like two of them. Maybe I could try using these and I could put it here. I know that I'm like planning on putting a bathroom here, so I'll put them. Yeah, these ones are paneled over here as well. I'll just leave it at that point. Using the structurals, I'm just gonna create this sort of design that I'm seeing in the photo. So I think I should replicate it over here as well. I didn't put a backyard anywhere. Let's do that real quick. I don't know what kind of backyard this place would have. I think I'm gonna use this because of the planks. <laughs> we're gonna grab these two square pillars and we're gonna put them over here. Let's just do the most simple floor, which is the garage floor. It's gonna be concrete, obviously. I don't know what else your garage would look like other than concrete. For the bathroom, I'm gonna use marble. Maybe over here, we're gonna do mar some more marble as well. Let me just close it off real quick so I can quickly place the rest of this. 
For the kitchen, I'm gonna use um, subway tiles, I think. First order of business, some wall trim. I feel like this place has wall trim. Also, somebody responded to me on Roblox and told me that yeah, they put wall trim in their kitchen, so I'ma put it too. Ooh, I don't think I did roof trim for the exterior, so I gotta do that. If you guys are wondering how to do roof trim, it's actually pretty simple. You go to wooden planks and then you get the vertical one. And now you make sure your grid size is like four squares and you're just gonna very quickly place it. If you make it four squares, it's just gonna be easier to get it done. And now you're just gonna recolor it smooth plastic and institutional white. There you go, you just do your roof trim. It's not that hard. As long as you keep the grid size to like four squares, it's gonna be pretty quick and easy to do. Obviously, you have to press T so you can like resize it. I'm not trying to over decorate this place because I kind of want to leave some creative freedom for you guys in case you're copying this place. Trying to decorate a place like this also takes a lot of time. Here's the thing, it's farmhouse, but it's also modern. I think I'll place the sofa here. <laughs> Maybe the industrial console table. I really don't know what to put if you can't tell. I saw somebody use twisted wood as a carpet color. And I mean, at first I don't see it as a carpet, but then a closer look, it kind of does look like it, like a fuzzy little carpet. And what about a coffee table? I kind of feel like getting this one. I don't think I've used this one. Is it just me or does this place like need pillars? Oh, we didn't even put our TV. Should I just use this uh, wall mounted one? I think it looks kind of nice to put it there. I don't know if I should put a wall here for the fun of it to like separate the room a little bit. Maybe if I put this window here, I don't know, they got scissors on the box. I want to put something in this corner. I'm going to put two shelves here and right below them is going to be a hook rack. We're going to get the towels and we're going to do that little hack. We could put this carpet at the entrance. That's kind of what we've done so far. Definitely not done, but we're going to move on into the kitchen. It's a modern farmhouse, so I feel like a rustic counter is the way to go. I guess I'm going to put that window right there. I guess let's get a table. I want a round one. What about that round glass one? Contemporary. I also want to get the contemporary chairs. I mean, that looks kind of cool. So we could close off this area like this. I just feel like that's going to be better. Blender, coffee maker, and a toaster. For the bathroom, I'm literally just going to make it super quickly by using this hygienic shower, the tilt <laughs> toilet, the modern bowl sink. I'm going to just place that here. We can go into storage and we can get the ladder shelf. Oh, and most importantly, the soap. I don't know if I'm going to do the inset design that I always do. Maybe not today. And now we can move on upstairs. I only have 30 minutes to finish this, so I'm kind of rushing. I'm sorry. I'm going to get the hairpin double bed. I'm going to put it over here. We're going to get the desk and put a little study nook. I'm going to get the industrial one. This other person is not going to get such a big bed. There's just no room for it. I'll just put it here. Oh, that's such a cozy room. Wait, why is there no upper wall trim in this room? I just realized. It's not in this room either. I guess I forgot. You see, it's clipping. Don't do that, please. I feel like I can't do much about it. Like, I just gotta put a basic shape or something. I'm trying to add, like, an accent wall. I shouldn't waste my time on this. I shouldn't. Okay. Okay, I'm done wasting my time. I'm done, I'm done. Okay, accent wall for you too. Okay, I'm done wasting my time. I'm done, I'm done. I don't know why I chose blue. Custom, custom bathtub. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into windows. You're gonna get the clear window frame. You're gonna resize it. Here's our little tilt bathtub. We love it. Just get some panel curtains. I think those are the closest to actual like bathroom curtains. There's so much more that I wanna do for this bathroom, but that's all I'm gonna do. I gotta move on. I think we're done with the interior. I wanna put one rough tree over here. And we're gonna put rough trees around the build as well. Next up, we're gonna get this rustic little planter box. Oh, this one's always so cute to use. Wild flowers, where's our lilies? We're gonna put lilies, we're gonna put a cute little blossom cactus, and you know what? We're gonna put carrots. <laughs> All right, and that is the house. Let's go inside. So over here is our garage with no car in it because uh, we forgot the car at the mechanic. <laughs> I love this. This little corner here where you can see the stairs. I just love that so much. Here is our entryway. And if you take the door to the left, you're back at your garage. I know that the decals don't really match the aesthetic and we could have more paintings everywhere. But for now, this is what I did. This is our kitchen, but it looks pretty nice. Like I say, there's a decent amount of space. You got a little sitting area over here. You can look outside and over here is our living room. Very nice, very simple. This is a decal. I think it kind of suits the aesthetic of what we have. Over here is our backyard. I love our backyard. We have our plants and stuff over here and a nice little tree that we're growing. When you go upstairs, you have this beautiful view. I love these windows so much. It's amazing. Here is the bathroom. I made this super, super quickly, like literally in one minute. <laughs> We go over here we have our bedroom i think this is a master bedroom and i tried to do an accent wall i don't know if i like it i didn't have much time to think about it oh and we have this little thing i don't know we had this empty spot there and i figured it'd be good to put something and in here we have the second bedroom again i use the 
same accent wall like super quickly, but I love the view. Like these windows are everything. This is our downstairs bathroom. I don't know why, but all my Bloxburg games are getting really glitchy walls. Like this is not what it's meant to look like. It's supposed to have the, the rounded tiles like the rest of it. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!